Hi, I'm Peter Bohatchek. I'm a high school physics teacher in Mendota Heights, Minnesota. And I'm Matt Vonk. I am a physics professor at the University of Wisconsin, River Falls. And I'm Anton. I'm an alumnus from River Falls. I founded one technology startup and I'm currently working in the technology industry. Our project is firmly rooted in science education, although we are starting with physics education. At the start of this class, I was hesitant to ask customers what they wanted. We didn't think customers would know what they wanted. We thought that was our job to tell them what they wanted. That disdain for customer input was captured by Dean on the first day when he said if Henry Ford had asked his customers what they wanted, they would have told him a six-legged horse or something like that. We definitely saw ourselves in that anecdote. But then we realized that if Henry Ford had asked his customers instead what problems did they have using a horse for transportation, he would have gotten different answers. And those are the questions we should be asking. In fact, as scientists, we're a little bit embarrassed at our skepticism about the idea of collecting and analyzing empirical data to plan a business. In my classes, I teach about how Aristotle reasoned that women have fewer teeth than men without bothering to count them. And essentially, we were doing the same thing. One of the most surprising things we found is that when we asked instructors if they would like a solution that would help them go through the lab practice faster, many of them said no. The reason was they were skeptical that there was a way that we could shorten the time that it takes for students to do labs without taking out the essential kinds of struggle that they felt students need to do to really understand how to do labs. Yeah, they were drawing a distinction between productive struggle that they wanted to keep and non-productive struggle that they didn't want. In fact, they even told us that if students went through an entire lab process and ended up with data that was so bad that it reconfirmed their misconceptions, they felt as though the whole lab was wasted time. 